lost on a train of love. Got on my buttercream, silk shirt, and it's Versace. Hand me my triple A. I can wait over. What's good, y'all? So we are in Houston for the weekend. When people were asking what we were doing or why we were coming to Houston, this guy was like, is it leisure? And I was like, you know what? I kind of like that. So this is just a little leisure trip that we got going on. There's a lot going on this weekend in a short amount of time, as always. Every time Crystal and I do something, we always try to jam pack it because we only have like two or three days, maybe. Most time it's two. But either way, we have a lot of fun. We got to the airport early, like or something in the morning. Our flight was at six. We got here at seven something because it's an hour back. And when we got here, we got something to eat. My food was good. Crystal didn't like her food. She said her food was trash. But she chose the wrong thing because what I got was fire. Because I got this croissant cinnamon roll, French toast, and then this I don't even know what it was, but it was basically like two eggs, another croissant. It's a lot of bread, but it was good though. And Crystal got some toast, some complicated toast complicated toast with some fruit either way when we came back obviously it was a friday so we still had to work uh checking emails meetings things like that uh but now we're getting ready crystal's still getting ready because we're waiting on her because we always wait on her but we love her though but we're going to what would you call it a live podcast so shits and gigs um shout out to them they are these two british men who basically have this podcast and it's like a comedic podcast so they'll play like games or talk about movies or shows they've watched or, you know, just kind of talk about anything. But they're super funny. They're doing a world tour. So they're coming to Houston. They were going to Atlanta, but we have something else planned for Atlanta because they're supposed to come Sunday. Oh, but... I thought they were coming when we were going to the concert. Never mind. Either way, we couldn't make it. Because we had other plans. Um, Us for July is super duper packed. And I don't even say super duper. But it's super packed. Because every weekend we're going somewhere. Which is cool. But it'd be very busy. We'll probably be tired. Hopefully we'll continue the vlog. Because, you know, we'd be starting the vlogs. And then we just don't be finishing. Because there'd be a lot going on. Because this is our second time going to Houston. I think we'll be more uh, tapped in. Just when it comes to making the vlog. So, yeah. We're getting ready. We're leaving in a couple minutes. Um, and we're going to go to our first podcast show. I think it'll be really fun. So, yeah, we'll see y'all later. Ignore my shoe. I'm rushing. But um, top, Fashion Nova, shorts, Forever 21, rings, LJ, my man. Um, this one, no idea. This one is my AFC ring. And necklaces, Forever 21. The shoes, my shoes, on, I believe Aldo. And I have a little clutch, a black clutch, but I don't know where that's from. But yeah, this is the full fit. And let's go see Shits and Gigs. Woo! Oh, I see the Uber. Okay, bye! <laughs> we are back from the Shits and Gigs podcast event, and the event was super cool, super dope. Because cool. the way, if y'all know Shits and Gigs, they know they play a bunch of games, or they talk about certain situations, or people will uh, send them scenarios, or, you know, things like that. and stuff. Yeah. So they basically did that. Um, they played a couple games that involved the audience, yep. and that was fun. Um, and then they did confessions. And that's pretty much all that they... And then they ended with the um, versus oh, yeah, battle. Yeah, the, so the basically, versus. James and Fuhat, they each pick... Like, they do it in rounds, and they each pick songs that they know the crowd is going to react to. Basically, it's like a... Whichever song gets the crowd's the attention most the reaction. most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that person gets like a point or whatever. Yeah, so. and they played some good songs. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And it was and it was so cool so because good. just like I was like seeing their personalities, and sure. it just goes to show that they're really themselves on the podcast versus in real life. No, literally, I was so shocked, like just hearing them 
was crazy. Like, you hear them all the time in a podcast, but, like, to see them on stage, see, see them in see person, them in to life, actually yeah. hear them, see their real-life brotherhood, their interactions with each other, their energy on stage. Like, it's so genuine and so natural that that was so, so cool to see. And it was cool because they gave, like, an intro at the beginning that showed them from their, like, very, very first podcast episode to, like, episode 50 to 100 to getting... 100k on YouTube. To so them both not Patreon. working. Uh, it, yeah, the, it was jobs. like when they showed when James quit his full time job, when who got quit his full time job. But we were in the third row. Y'all will see like from the footage and stuff. But we were in the third row, literally, like they were right there, right there. Like when I bought the tickets, so I was that. Yeah. I'm that person for concerts or events that like when the tickets go on sale. I'm getting the preseason. I'm finding the pre-sale codes. I'm getting in the queue 20 minutes before because I want to have the opportunity to get the best seats at a good price because I'm a concert girly. I'm spontaneous. I like to do random stuff, whatever. So, but these tickets are bad though. They did their show at the O2, or they were talking about doing their show at the O2, and then I kept seeing people comment like, "Come to America, come to America," and I was like. Yeah, y'all need to, because what? And then they announced the tour, and I was like, I told LJ, I was like, when the tickets go on sale, I'm buying the tickets. buying the tickets. I was so just, just letting him letting know, you know, if you want to go, cool. If you don't, cool. I'm buying two tickets because I'm going to go somehow. I didn't realize that when I bought those seats, it came with a meet and, a greet. Meet and greet package. And so I'm we like, met these, we met we them. Met these people. But backstory, because like, on Thursday, so we I have already had the whole book, the trip booked. And Thursday, I got this email late at night from some girl named Paige. And she was like, uh, what you need to know to get ready for your shits and gigs meet and greet? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah. What is this? So okay, was sleep. I woke up my boss said, so I guess we're meeting them? He was like, what are you talking about? I said, what? <laughs> I I'm said, sleep. I don't even know what I bought. I thought I just bought Tickets to the show, and they ended up being good tickets. But at the price to get the meet and greet included, it was Fire. so it was so cool. I'm telling Fuha just like his energy and like the way he laughs makes me laugh, and I just enjoy the whole podcast every episode. And then for James, so James he's a good writer, and so he does trivia games, and yeah. one game is called Who Am I, and they're actually really good. So very, I told, very well I, I, written. yeah, mm -hmm. so I told him that, um, and they were cool though, and. Very cool. I was about to say something else about anime, but that's when I froze. We didn't we just... get one together, but we both got individual pictures with the two of them yeah. separate. But last thing I did want to say, not that they would see this whatsoever, but we if do want to say thank you to Shits and Gigs, James and Fuha. Thank y'all so, so much for such an amazing show. Like LJ told y'all in person, your energy is infectious and always appreciated and I didn't say much when I met y'all, but it was such a pleasure meeting y'all and just getting to see y'all do what you, you love to do and witnessing it. Um, and I just can't wait to see how much more y'all grow and all the success that you will continue to gain. So shout yes, out to y'all because yeah. y'all are lit. Just at this point, if you're not watching Shits and Gigs, what are you doing? So Because they're funny. I will say that. Oh, seriously, they are funny. But yeah, yeah, we're about to eat because this food getting cold and we're sleepy and I want to quickly get some sleep because it's beautiful to actually look under because it's a really nice night. Thanks, babe. No problem. But yeah, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We got a lot going on tomorrow too. Um, but we'll see y'all. I'm just, I'm just happy that we can talk to y'all now. Facts. Because I, I know. <laughs> we didn't even say, hey, welcome to the vlog. We were just like, airport. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel. Hey guys, we're back. So. <laughs> but yeah. But we'll talk to y'all later. Yes. Hi. Hello. Good morning, y'all. We are up late. <laughs> we definitely slept in. Today is day two of our Houston trip, part two. And we're about to go to this place called Text Fun. Um, it's like an entertainment center. They have pickleball, uh, laser tag, go-karts, go bowling arcade games, a bunch of other stuff. Um, but so what's cool about this place is that the way the pricing was, you get all of that for like one deal. 
Yeah, it was like 40 bucks. So that's a really good deal to do all of that. Yeah. So we're really excited. That should be super, super fun. We're about to head out. We originally were trying to get there at 11. They opened at 10. Um, just because we have some other stuff we want to make sure we get done today. I did not get in and out last night. Sad. It was too far away. From. It was, yeah, it's... It was like a 40-minute li- drive. The last time we came here, it was like conveniently closer to the Regal that we went to. Um, so that's the only reason I think we were able to get it. But we're going to try today to do that. Go to the post as well because that's where LJ wants to go. Well, I want to go back, too, because right, it was uh, good. See how she's sliding? Um, so, yeah, we're going to try to do all of that today and get that done before our movie at 8.55 tonight at the Houston Cinema Rooftop Club. So, yeah, we're about to call the Ubers, but we just wanted to tell y'all what we got going on today and do some fit checks before we head out. Shirt from Man Republic, shorts from H&M. They don't even make these anymore. I like them because they have the triangle. So when I move my legs, it's not like tight on my thighs. But um, yeah, and then shoes from Nike, Pandas, y'all, you know, everybody they mama got. But yeah, Garmin watch, uh, and a bracelet that my dad gave me for Christmas. Wow. So my fit isn't fully complete yet. I have a little jacket too, but so I wanted to wear a tennis skirt, a white tennis skirt, which y'all have already seen this outfit pretty much in the last vlog. But I really liked it, and the tennis skirt was going to go with the pickleball vibes, but it's fine. It ended up having, like, a little dark stain on it from when I washed it, so I'm not going to do that. Fatletics shorts, shout out to Fatletics. Um, Gymshark, the double up sports bra, medium support, in a small. I just took the tags off. It's brand new. I'm so excited. It's really comfortable. Like, this... This is hands down probably like yeah. my favorite sports bra from Gymshark so far. Fanny pack, I don't even know where I got this from. Adidas. Yeah, that's from, from TJ Maxx. Okay, yeah, TJ Maxx. Adidas shoes. The socks are from DSW. Rings, again, shout out to my man. AFC earrings. Don't even know. And, oh, let me show y'all the jacket real quick. Um, Kenzie and Amani like to call this fit the rich auntie fit <laughs> so that's what it's gonna be today and um this is the also as they call it the bbl jacket that's what it's called <laughs> and yeah, yeah so jacket. i'm gonna have this on too and i think that is it we'll show you off what the space looks like and what we do so we'll see y'all It's your time, baby. It's your time, baby. Get my baby. That's the difference when you're my baby. That's how it is when you. Nobody make me stop the world. What's good, y'all? So we are back at the hotel. We left to go to the uh, tax. What was it called? Tax fun. Tax fun. Tax fun. It was like a fun part, like Chris said before. But we got back. We went to in and out before we got here, though, because Crystal really wanted it. But we were deciding whether we should go or not because we're about to go to the post and we got to come back. Or not come back, but we got to get ready for our movie that we have um, at 8.50. We're seeing The Quiet Place. Crystal really wanted to see it. I really had no desire to see it, but Crystal wanted to see it. And we're here, so I was like, bet I'll go see it with you. We're about to go to the post. Even though we got in and out I'm saving mine for later because they have good food at the post. But yeah, just a little update. As you can see, it's dark because we're rushing, trying to get ready. Uh, so, yeah, that's really all I got. But we should have fun at the post. The movie should be good. Uh, we'll tell you how it is um, and how the post is when we get back. But low-key after that, we got to go to bed because our flight is early tomorrow because we're going back. And I forgot to, or we forgot to tell you, today's our anniversary. So that's kind of another reason why we're out here uh, in Houston again, um, just to celebrate that six years. But that's my dog for real. Six years. Let's do a fit check. The top, Forever 21. The shorts, Forever 21. The boots, Boot Barn, when I went to Nashville with AFC, the girls. I figured I'd wear boots because, you know, we're in Texas. And it's giving country girl. So, yeah. 
I'll do my fit checks and she don't want to help me. So this shirt from Fashion Nova, chain from Kraft again. I'm already on it. Uh, these pants from H&M, I got them like a while ago. Love these pants though. Um, and then the shoes from Aldo, the white shoes that I got last time. Did y'all see it? Yeah. So that's my fit. Crystal was no help, but it's cool because I got y'all with the fit. She's trying to figure out what we doing. But anyway, yeah, we're about to go uh, so we can actually get everything in on time and not miss the movie or be late because, you know, time is never on our side, but we're grateful for it. Anyway, we'll see y'all when we get back. Bye. Yo. The HK busting like an AK for real. This year tough, I'm trying to stay sane for real. These girls coming with the same, same for real. Real. Competition week and I play games for real All I ever knew was live it up Me and all the dogs on the clock right now, girl, shine up Trying to find balance, trying to find balance Split it up, split it up What's up, y'all? Like we said last time, we had a bunch of stuff to do And low-key crystal thought that we weren't going to get it all Stay so, doubtful. I kept faith. You was never doubtful. Never that. Um, yeah, I knew we well, were Well, we actually didn't do everything. We didn't do the go fights. We sacrificed the go fights. We had pickleball. Axes. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Golf. Bowling, laser tag. Laser tag. Yeah. We said go karts. Yeah. yeah. And that was it. We did almost everything except the go-karts. But either way, though, so after we went, you know, we got back and changed, we ended up going to the Post again. And for y'all who don't know, the Post is basically a food hall. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Post because it used to be a post office. So it's really big. And they had a bunch of different food options and venues. Or not venues, but kind of kiosks. Yep. They had people to sell jewelry, soap. T-shirts. Skateboards. Stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. Crystal ended up getting some pasta that they made from scratch, and I ended up getting Nigerian food. And, and then was he good. got some uh, hibiscus tea, which was really hibiscus good. Hibiscus tea. Hibiscus tea. Crazy. <laughs> After that, we went to the rooftop cinema, which was a vibe. Not even gonna lie. They had two screen uh, movies playing, and the way it was was you had headphones yeah. that connected to the actual movie. So it was quite the whole set, which was ironic because the movie we saw was A Quiet Place. And, and this is supposed to be the beginning of A Quiet So if anybody's seen the other two movies, this is supposed to explain how it started, give a little bit of that backstory. Um, it didn't introduce any of the original characters from yeah. the first two movies, but it's it just a different storyline. But it, the intent was to show how, how they came. But it was crazy to like watch that type of movie outside in a major city on a rooftop, like wide open with these gloomy clouds and <laughs> the aesthetic was definitely giving. Yeah, it was. For sure. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for the vlog. We'll be leaving. Leaving, yeah. <laughs> Very we'll be early. Leave. We literally have to be at the airport at like five. five five o'clock so yeah we're getting up early but we're close to the airport so we won't have to leave as early as we did but but yeah so we're about to pack and eat and get in bed and relax and relax and we will catch y'all tomorrow y'all we missed our flight but i'm gonna tell you how we missed it so crystal and i went to bed usually the same time we do when we got a lot of stuff going on anyways but crystal said all right i'm gonna sit in a while I said bed. That means when you set an alarm, I don't have to set one because I know you're going to get up. So we went to bed and we woke up and Chris was like, LJ, look what time it is. Our flight left at 620. Crystal said, LJ, look at look what time it is. I looked at the time and it said 652. I said, dang, we don't miss the flight. See, I'm so dumb. I said, oh, so did we miss the flight? Family boarding an active duty military with their ID. Welcome aboard. So we missed the flight and we were like, bro, how are we going to get on the plane? So we were looking up, you know, we we're looking up uh, different times, different prices. 
prices were not it, not hitting. It was like four hundred dollars. So the plane tickets for all the flights were four hundred dollars, and we're like, bro. Not that we didn't have it, because you know we save our money, but we were like, bro, we don't feel like spending that bread. We just got our stuff, got to the airport. Chris was letting her family know we're on a waiting list. So we try to go to the airport, explain the situation. They give us the waiting list uh, information, and the next flight was like 8.20. So we're like, bet, okay, cool, that's fine. Because we'll, we'll still get back before, um, you know, a decent time so we can get ready to go to the Chris Brown concert. So we're getting everything situated. And by the grace of God, when I tell y'all, this was the smoothest transition to get on the next plane. And we actually made it. So we're about to get on the plane. Hopefully everything will just be smooth from here on out. But y'all never get these early flights. Not like before eight. It's just not worth it. Just pay the extra money. That's definitely what we're gonna do from now on. But this jump was crazy. But I just had to let y'all know that we missed a flight. Never missed a flight before. But the process was pretty smooth. It's just, you know, we were gracious enough to be on the next flight. It was really, you know, just an hour or two behind. So, yeah, we'll see how we get back from Atlanta.